ते भुवनेश्वर रे आरबीआई गवर्नर नेशनल सीए कॉन्फ्रेंस रे से जोग दे छंती सुधार सुन का अपन को नहीं जाओ जस्ट एज आई मेंशन इट इज वेरी प्रोफेशन एथिक्स इन एवरी प्रोफेशन इज आई थिंक अ सुप्रीम रिक्वायरमेंट व्हिच इज अ प्रोफेशन यू वुड वांट टू इन दिस बैकग्राउंड आई एम आई वुड लाइक टू स्ट्रेस दैट इट इज वाइटल दैट ऑडिटर्स फॉलो द कोड ऑफ एथिक्स and other professional standards while discharging their responsibility i am happy to note that the icai has formed an ethical standards board for framing in ethical standards for chartered accountants in line with the international best practices on ethics and uh, subject to local laws that is subject to domestic laws and regulations of course now as and when this code of ethics is ready i'm sure this will certainly enhance the quality and consistency of services provided by the chartered accountants and would strengthen the public confidence in the profession this is the point which i alluded to earlier the audit community as was pointed out earlier has an important role in the growth of our uh, economy uh, because it's टिकेटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरीटरी
Reserve Bank is among the very few central banks which has got such a wide range of uh, functions, starting from uh, monetary policy to banking regulation to foreign exchange uh, uh, management to payment systems to issue of uh, issue of currency notes. Uh, dealing with uh, developmental issues like financial, promoting financial inclusion, financial literacy. So, you know, the range of responsibilities are one of the, of the Reserve Bank are one of the widest in the world. And therefore, the Reserve Bank is known as a full-service central bank. And experience has shown that uh, over the last, throughout in the journey of the Indian economy, the Reserve Bank has played a critical role in the development of our economy. If you think back in the early days of our five-year plans, the responsibility of the Reserve Bank was to make credit resources available for, for implementation of the five-year plans. Credit, provision of credit was an integral part of uh, the you know, early years of our independence in the five-year plans and the Reserve Bank was those days in the 50s and 60s focused on provision of credit and resource allocation for the economy. Then thereafter, in the 1970s, you are aware there was the oil crisis, there was high inflation and uh, therefore in the 80s, the Reserve Bank uh, adopted a policy of monetary targeting uh, to contain money supply to check inflation. So, you will see that over the years the Reserve Bank has been playing a key role and is playing an important role to shape the future direction of our economy. Since the initiation of the economic reforms in, the, in 1991 and particularly in the 1990s, there are two critical reforms, two, you know, I would say two major structural reforms of high critical importance to our economy where the Reserve Bank played an important role.